Many children are visual learners, so their surroundings become part of the curriculum. When their eyes wander away from the teacher, they may focus on something that keeps them connected. If possible, have everything in the room connect to their learning experience. For example, for older children, you can post maps, a Bible timeline, the Lord's Prayer, or a list of the books of the Bible. All these are directly related to what the children are learning. Whatever you do, remember you want to provide a safe environment where the children feel valued and God's Word is honored. For younger children, you may want to include soothing colors such as greens and blues to help calm their fears about being separated from their parents. One church chose to place this wall covering in a hall outside the classrooms for young children. They wanted to impress upon them that Jesus is the Good Shepherd who cares for them. They see it each time they come to class. They continued this theme throughout the building by displaying different scenes of Jesus with the Lamb. Instead of wall coverings, volunteers can paint murals on the walls. Volunteer artists painted this classroom to create a beautiful garden where the children come to enjoy praise time. Younger children love puppets. You can build a great puppet stage using plywood, paint, and artificial plants and leaves. Or your puppet stage can be as simple as the back of a bookcase decorated with flowers. You can adorn plain flooring with colorful rugs or by using scrap linoleum and creating a large floor mat. Younger children need boundaries and this linoleum mat marks each child's seat with a lily pad. Scrap linoleum is very easy to work with. You can cut it into any shape and it holds paint well and it easily wipes clean for those classroom spills. Children also love three-dimensional visuals, so consider a design that includes three dimensions. For example, children will always remember sitting under the tree in your classroom and listening to the Bible story. You can make a tree like this by using plaster of Paris, or you can paint a tree on a wall and attach artificial branches to bring the tree to life. Be sure to add a bird's nest or a few butterflies to spark the children's imaginations. If you use a shared space, such as a multi-purpose room, you can still use color to create a special corner by using multicolored blankets or bright sheets of fabric to hang as wall coverings. Here is a great idea if you need to have a bulletin board in a shared space. In this example, the outside of the cabinet is used as a bulletin board for the Sunday School class while the inside of the cabinet is a larger bulletin board for the preschool class that meets during the week. For older children, the visual environment in a classroom can communicate so many messages. Bold colors and strong visuals are stimulating and make for great accents. If it is not a shared space, then before you paint, think about what you want your walls to communicate. For example, in this classroom, we wanted to communicate that the Bible is about real people in real places that worship a real God. So our volunteers made the walls of the classroom look like a street in Bethlehem that includes a stable and a manger. Then on one wall, we used an enlargement of a photograph of the actual shepherd's field outside Bethlehem, where the angel appeared and announced the birth of Jesus to the shepherds. It's also a great idea to have a place to display the children's artwork in the hallways so parents can see what the children are learning. You can do this simply by using an open-ended frame of plexiglass and place the art behind it or by creating a bulletin board. There are many ways to create a wonderful environment where children can learn about who God is and what He has done. If you decorate with great intentionality and appeal, it communicates to the children that they are important to you and that the time spent in your room is going to be very special.